To borrow some money, some money to borrow. The maximum amount of money that the U.S. government is allowed to borrow. The Senate voted 51 to 49 to raise the debt ceiling on Wednesday, avoiding a default on U.S. debt that would have upended the global economy. The vote came after weeks of negotiations between Democrats and Republicans, who had been deadlocked over the issue. The measure now goes to President Joe Biden, who is expected to sign it into law. Raise the debt ceiling, the debt ceiling to raise. Avoid a default, a default to avoid. Upend the global economy, the global economy to upend. Deadlock Republicans, Republicans to deadlock. Is expected to sign. A default on U.S. debt. U.S. debt that would have upended the global economy. The vote after weeks of negotiations. Negotiations between Democrats and Republicans. President who is expected to sign it into law. The debt ceiling is the maximum amount of money that the U.S. government is allowed to borrow. It was set at $28.9 trillion in December 2021. The Treasury Department has been using extraordinary measures to avoid defaulting on the debt, but those measures will expire on Tuesday. Avoid defaulting on the debt, defaulting on the debt to avoid. Use extraordinary measures, extraordinary measures to use. Expire measures, measures to expire. Is allowed to borrow. It was set at $28.9 trillion. The maximum amount of money that the U.S. government is allowed to borrow. Measures to avoid defaulting on the debt. If the debt ceiling had not been raised, the U.S. government would have been unable to pay its bills. This would have led to a default on the debt, which would have had a devastating impact on the economy. The stock market would have crashed, interest rates would have skyrocketed, and the U.S. would have lost its status as a safe haven for investors. Pay the bills, the bills to pay. Lose the status, the status to lose. A default on the debt. A devastating impact on the economy. Status as a safe haven for investors. The vote to raise the debt ceiling was a major victory for Democrats. It was also a sign that Republicans are willing to work with Democrats on important issues. The debt ceiling is a complex issue, and it is likely to be a source of debate in the years to come. However, the vote on Wednesday shows that Congress is still capable of working together to address the country's most pressing problems. Address the problems, the problems to address. It was also a sign that are willing to work with Democrats. It is likely to be a source of debate. Is capable of working to address the problems. The vote to raise the debt ceiling. A major victory for Democrats. A sign that Republicans are willing to work with Democrats. In the years to come. The vote on Wednesday. Here are some additional details about the vote. The vote was along party lines, with all 50 Democrats and one independent voting in favor of the measure and all 49 Republicans voting against it. The vote was the first time that the debt ceiling has been raised since Democrats took control of the Senate in January 2021. The measure raises the debt ceiling by $480 billion, which is enough to cover the government's spending through December 2023. The measure also includes a provision that would require the Treasury Department to provide regular updates on the government's spending and debt levels. Cover the spending, the spending to cover. Include a provision, a provision to include. Raises the debt ceiling by $480 billion. Took control of the Senate. Is enough to cover. Require the Department to provide regular updates. Implications for health coverage, cost, and access. All 50 Democrats voting in favor of the measure. All 49 Republicans voting against the measure. A provision that require them to provide updates. Updates on the government's spending. Did you see that the Senate voted to raise the debt ceiling? Yes, I did.
It was a close boat, but they were able to get it past. That's good news. I was worried that we were going to default on our debt. Me too. It's always a relief when we can avoid a government shutdown or default. I wonder what will happen next. Will the Democrats try to use this as leverage to pass other legislation? It's possible. They may try to tie the debt ceiling to other issues, like immigration reform or gun control. That could be a risky move. If they don't get everything they want, they could end up with no deal at all. True. But they may feel like they have to take a risk in order to get anything done. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Improving your conversation. Did you see that news? I was worried that. It's always a relief when. I wonder what. Voted to raise the debt ceiling. Get it passed. We're going to default on our debt. Try to use this. Use this as leverage to pass other legislation. Tie the debt ceiling to other issues. Get everything they want. End up with no deal at all. Take a risk in order to get anything done. Wait and see what happens. I'm so relieved that the Senate voted to raise the debt ceiling. Me too. I was worried that we were going to default on our debt, and that would have been a disaster. Absolutely. A default would have had a devastating impact on the economy. It's still not clear what the long term consequences of this vote will be. I'm sure there will be some debate about that. But for now, I'm just glad that we avoided a crisis. Me too. I'm looking forward to getting back to normal. Improving your conversation. I'm so relieved that reason. I was worried that reason. It's still not clear what. I'm sure there will be. But for now, I'm just glad that reason. Voted to raise the debt ceiling. Default on our debt, avoided a crisis. Getting back to normal. A devastating impact on the economy.